Hey everybody, Eric here from Lapix. Back at it again. We got another good video for you guys today. Another troubleshooting video. And this video is actually inspired by what happened to me. Actually, I bought a, a monitor and I wasn't able to get the first, well, the second one, I guess, connected. It would always detect the first one, but the second one would detect in Windows. It would make the noise that it would pop up, but you still couldn't see it. You couldn't adjust any settings. You couldn't do anything and there's be no display. It was really interesting. I was like, what's going on with that? And now I know most of you guys out there, you probably are connecting multiple monitors. You probably have like a 4090 by now and probably got the 13900K and you're like, Psh, I don't know what this guy's talking about. You know, I got the Neo G9. I got the Alienware 3423DW. I got, um, which is an Ultra, by the way. Go ahead, check it out. L let me know down below if you actually know what that monitor is because that was a really cool one. It's the one I got actually, by the way. It's really nice. It's an OLED. But uh, I don't know, whatever you guys monitor is doing, maybe you're just adding a second monitor. Maybe you guys are adding three um g9s are just gonna make a circle around yourself i don't really know that those are actually 49 inches man go ahead check those out those are really cool really cool tech which maybe you're just doing that adding a second monitor and you're not really sure what's going on you det it, you plug in it detects but it's not showing up there so what's the problem what the problem is i don't really know what's going on so i got the answer for you today because it happened to me and i was like confused i was like what's going on it must be something easy it actually is a pretty easy solution so let's get right into it let me show you so you go down here and uh, you'll see your normal ones, but then you'll go down to here and you won't see anything. It's like, what's going on? Why, why is this a small little box? So I'm actually gonna go ahead and plug the monitor, uh, the second monitor here, because it's plugged in. Look, and now it just cancels out, right? And it's gonna disappear. I don't know why it scrolled down. Oh, oh, it's just showing one. So if I plug it back in, right? It comes back up, which is weird. And you can do this, it'll work if I unplug this monitor, then it'll actually work and it'll show up on the other display. But man, I don't care about that. I want two displays. I don't want one big display. Who wants that? <laughs> Who would actually want that? So I have a pretty interesting thing. So you can actually go to, uh, there's something, you can go under the NVIDIA control panel. You probably have this NVIDIA setting in the first place and that's actually what's causing the problem. So let's go to our NVIDIA settings. Sometimes you have the control panel and the bottom right down here. And you only see that it's going to actually bring up one display, uh, even though there is two displays connected. Even this shows the Windows even shows it. Man, if Windows can show it, why can't NVIDIA show it? That's kind of weird. You can't adjust any settings. You can't do anything. So uh, what, what actually the problem is, is, this is actually an NVIDIA control panel thing. And it's very simple because it actually says it here. It says set up multiple displays. Now we'll have it here and you'll see that one is actually unchecked. Imagine that. One is unchecked. So if I check the one here, whoop. Oh, now it's going to come up here and now you hit apply. And now it did come up again. I'm going to hit a yes because I want it to stay there. And I'm going to go ahead to, to this. Now we actually see that there's two monitors there. I'm going to actually put this on the side and we actually see that there are two displays here and you can see the scale and layout and everything there. So that's a pretty cool thing. So guys, you're probably thinking, well, that's such a simple thing. Why would that really matter? Well, when I connected it myself, I saw that that option actually didn't come up right away. It wasn't detecting it. And for some reason I had to re-enable that, which is very strange in the first place. I had only had one monitor connected the first time and then I just added a monitor. That's all I did. I didn't do anything else to it. So I tried actually different ports. I was like, man, why is it going on? Why is it detecting it? That's a real simple way to actually see that that actually is a, a problem and you can actually fix it there. But it didn't give me any warnings. And that's why I'm making this video in the first place. I didn't get any warning. Um, I don't want you guys sending back um, monitors or replacing HDMI cables or display cables or anything that way, especially if you bought a brand new one, it's going to work. And you're like, well, you knew your old monitor works. So even if I switch the display port and do all these other things, why is this still not working? I don't really know, but that's just a quick little fix. I actually saw it actually happen to me. <laughs> so I want to share you guys that information. Um, it'll be a good way just to get a display on there. Obviously you're having any issues. I know I made this private video a little bit longer than it had to be, but I know you guys always like to hear my voice, right? I'm sure you guys do. And I'm really appreciate it for you guys. And I hope you guys are watching. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. Now, if you have an AMD card, let us know down below if you have actually the same issue or if you want to make that video as well to see if there's anything very similar to that. But you probably would have to go to a very similar setting in there where it's going to say set up multiple monitors and you want to go through the, the graphics card setting. Um, through the Intel graphics thing, we'll probably have a very similar thing there too. Um, I'm sure most of you guys who are using desktops or having this problem in the first place probably already have this NVIDIA graphics card. So, it, And I'd love to know what you guys actually have. If you saw, actually comment down below if you saw what card I have for our office rig. Definitely see if you guys are actually paying attention or go back and check it out. See what, what card did I have in there? Hmm. 
remember which one it was. Hmm, I can only imagine. If I can only scroll back in time and find out what I had. Um, any type of issues that we see ourselves, we have to show you guys too. I'm like, hey man, I bet they will actually want to know this issue. Especially this time. This is actually time making his videos around the Black Friday time. So probably multiple people are buying multiple monitors. But don't let that uh, bring you down. Holiday cheer, everyone. Hope you guys enjoy watching. See you guys.